Once your Evo is set up, you just slap the fish in there, right? No, you need to cycle the Evo first. Why do you need to cycle your Evo? Because when you first start your Evo, it's very likely that there's little or no nitrifying bacteria in it. That means if you meet a slap fish in here, well, as the fish produce waste, there's not enough bacteria to process that waste. That means the fish can very quickly be swimming in toxic filth, which is bad. Therefore, you need to cycle your Evo. And how do you do it? Well, first, a word of caution. If you started your Evo with live rock, it's very likely that you're still going to need to cycle the Evo. Why is that? Well, during transport, live rock can experience something called die off. Some of the organic matter that's on there, well, it dies off. And when you put it back into your Evo, well, you need to process this waste, the same as fish waste, and you need nitrifying bacteria to do it. So if you started your tank with live rock, you're gonna to need to cure the live rock, which is another name for cycling the tank. Now you can potentially speed up the process if you use live sand. Just make sure you're gonna check the expiration date on the bag of sand if you go the live sand route. You can also ask your local fish store for cured live rock, and Fluval suggests that you do. Using cured live rock is rock that's already been cycled, and it can speed up the cycling process of your Evo considerably. So, how do you cycle your Evo? Here's how. First, make sure your Evo's water is between 76 and 79 degrees Fahrenheit, and between 1.024 and 1.025 salinity. Once you've got that accomplished, add a cycling product like Fluval's Cycle Biological Supplement. Just shake the bottle and follow the dosing instructions for new aquariums. Then you need to do two things. Be patient. The cycling process can take weeks, especially if you started your Evo with uncured live rock. Now using cured live rock can speed up the process, but again, be patient. Don't get in a rush here. Second thing you need to do, well, you need to test. Until you test the water parameters in your Evo, you're not gonna know if it's cycling or if it's done cycling. Now when you test, you're gonna wanna test for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. You're gonna see a rise and then fall of ammonia, a rise and then fall of nitrite, and then a rise of nitrate. The level of ammonia and nitrite that you measure, well, it's gonna depend on what type of rock you use to start your Evo. Uncured live rock will see the highest levels of ammonia and nitrite, and cured live rock will likely see the lowest levels. And if you started your Evo with dry rock, you're still gonna see the rise and fall of ammonia and nitrite, and then that final rise of nitrate. You know your Evo is cycled when you see minimal or no nitrite, and then a rise of nitrate. In case that you notice a high level of nitrate that persists more than 10 days, well, we recommend you do a 50% water change as this will help speed up the process. And in case the nitrite level rises again, well, you can do another water change. Once your Evo is fully cycled, then you can add fish. Again though, go slow. Add one fish every couple of weeks. If you started with no live rock or live sand, please use the following link to guide you.